Hello, PC Smoker back again with another video. And for this one, I'm smoking my third Boswell pipe made back in 2010. I think it's a big apple. Hey, for this video, I'm going to answer some questions that I found online. And this one's coming from Kyle's Dad 77. So let's get to it. Do I prefer its state or new pipes? Oh, always new. Because it's never been broken into and with the state pipes, you don't know what you're getting. I mean, it could have been used by someone who used it for crack or pot. But I do have one used pipe, but it's it's fine. But basically, I just smoke the new new ones. Break in slowly. Number two, do I smoke indoors? Obviously. Since I'm inside, and also I smoke outside. Both both pipes and cigars. Of course, I haven't had any word from the tenants, so I think everything's kosher. Do I restore pipes? Mm. If the shank is broken, like I had on my Omega Giant, if, if the shank's broken, you know, I can glue it back together again, but you know, if the stem's broken, well, the Boswell, you can just send it right back and it'll replace it. And, or you can go ahead to the pipe shop here in town and replace it for about $20. It's not a bad buy. Do I buy a majority of my pipes online or in the store? Most of them that I have are online, like my Boswells, and I got my Seven Alleys, and of course my Mario Grande, and all the way from Rome. So. Basically, they all came from out online, and it was about maybe about four or five up all in, in the stores here. And speaking of which, if there's anybody that knows how to make a rack for my giant pipes, please let me know. I'm desperate because <laughs> I can't think of a good idea how to display them. Okay, number five. What's your genre of music? Well, if you look at my channel page and click on down the music, there's two types. Uh, one's general music, you know, you, what I call moldy oldies. Anything from last month on back. That's why I call them moldy oldie. Especially if you hear the same song being played over and over and over again. Even it first came out this year. If they play it over and over again, like most top four AM stations used to do back in the 20th century, before they all went yada, yada, yada. Um, that's the type of music I like. That's the music I like. Basically, rock and roll. Pop, R&B, and some of the um, music come from this century, like from Cooper Stank, uh, Bare Naked Ladies, because they're more or less 90s. And who else? Mm. Sarah McLaughlin. Uh, Uncle Cracker, that's another one. Uh, 
few others. And of course, the other genre I like is Christmas music. Which I usually don't play during the summertime, but when I guess when I guess when Thanksgiving comes, that's when I start playing the Christmas music all the way through Christmas Day, and that's it. And some of the music on that, I like all the instrumentals, some of you hear on music, and the, what I call elevator music, like ooh, Percy Fave. Roger Williams, Jack Gleason, don't know that do you? Uh, Chuck, uh, Chad Akins, uh, Mad I'm Steamroller, how whole gobs of music over here, both CD and copied on CDs. Yeah, uh, let's see. And vocals, of course, we got Andy Williams, Carpenters, The Beach Boys, um, Ray Connor, Johnny Mathis, Andy Williams, Perry Como, got a little Elvis, and a bunch more. And there's some novelty song. There's some novelty songs like you know. Top 25 Christmas music, volumes one through four. And of course, we'll also put down this little demented music. Like, like stuff that was on Dr. Demento, like Rusty Chevrolet, Pretty Little Dolly. You know, something that hits my ear that I like, I'll, I'll keep it. So, so much for that. Um, number six. Am I suffering from pipe or tobacco appreciation disorder? Not right now. For both. Since I got my big Mario Grande, I'm fine with pipes. But with tobacco, I'm fine with that too, but I'm kind of itching towards buying stuff from Boswell so I have to wait a little bit longer wait a little bit later okay smoking you can you smoke in public places here in Illinois the only places you can smoke are in pipe shops where they sell pipes and cigars that's the, those are the only places you can smoke in Illinois and cigar bars. Of course, I haven't seen one in Illinois. I've been one in just outside Detroit. Just as it was opening up, so I just went in there to just take a gander, and that was about it. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, back here in Illinois, um, those are the only two places you can smoke. Everywhere else, no. And also, there's a 15-foot rule, is that, which is you can't smoke. You can only smoke 15 feet away or more away from a door. And I don't want to mention this, but I have seen maybe a bar that does let the people smoke. But I think it's because it's after hours. I think that that's probably why they can get away from it. Okay, what do I think of snuff? No, I don't like it all. It's just like it's just like with um, chewing tobacco. You know, put a piece in it. I think it's kind of disgusting. Plus, also, it may never know. Somebody might spike it with. A little coke, a little heroin, you may never know. So I don't, I don't go for that anyway because it's not quite, it's not me. Okay, what's the most expensive pipe I ever bought? <laughs> uh, basically, well, 
can call with two hundred dollars expensive. Got my let's see, my Mara Grande and two Boswells, my Big Bent and um, Jumbo Rhodesian, and my Biani Bent. And of course, my, my Mario Grande, that cost $250 right off the bat on eBay. Because there you get, you can bid it or you can just buy it right away. I bid it, I bought it right away because I had to have it. And the cheapest one, basically the seller now is because they're all. I try to forget a question. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because basically they cost maybe about fifty-five dollars. That's pretty cheap. If you, well, like I say, you want to start at the beginning. Oh, um, yeah, you can go say like Walgreens, buy a very cheap pipe there. You know, get started. But the cheapest one I ever bought to use are the seven alleys. So. That's it for Kyle's dad's question. Thanks, Phil. And if you have any comments or questions or know where I can get a big giant pot, pipe rack for my pipes, or you want to Skype me, um, let let me know. You know, send me an email saying, "Can we Skype at this time?" Because basically, my times are. The best time to get me is after 1.15 a.m. Because I'm up about an hour or two before I go to bed. And right now until mid-August of 2011, um, catch me on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Anytime on those days. And until then, keep the home bars burning and talk to you next time.